a lot like daddy. Daddy look a lot like him. Navidad Feliz cumpleaños Everybody judges me for the music I'm listening to right Baby, you can count on me. Cause I love the tractors I grew up with this stuff Hi everybody, Kenzie here, and today I'm going to be doing a holiday-inspired look for you guys. I'm starting with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in porcelain, and I'm going to be using a crown brush today. I start by putting some on my finger and then just kind of swiping it all over my face, and then I go on the brush. The packaging recommends that you put the foundation right on the brush, but I just really don't like that. I don't like the way that it applies, so I'd rather do it this way. I think the key to using brushes like this is just to really, really blend. Um, I think that that's the way you get the best coverage, but I really like these. I think they are a lot quicker than like a beauty blender or just a regular like flat topped kabuki brush. Next, I'm going with uh, Too Faced Born This Way uh, Concealer in the lightest shade that they have. I'm not sure. I think it's light or fair. And I'm going to be highlighting the high points of my face and using a concealer brush by Crown. Next, I'm going in with my Opera, uh, what is it, oil control press powder, I believe. And it is just a regular, like, powder brush and setting all over my face. This is not translucent, so it does kind of give a little bit of a white sheen off, but I really like it, so. Starting with eyes, with Too Faced Shadow Insurance, just priming my lids for all the shadows we're going to put on my eyeballs. Going in with the Modern Renaissance palette in a shade called Warm Taupe, but really any kind of neutral brown shade will work in a giant fluffy brush. And just sweeping that all over the eye, there's really not much preciseness, just kind of a good base for what we're going to be doing, just to kind of set that primer. Also from the Modern Renaissance palette, we're going to be taking Via Tin Red, which is just kind of a cooler toned, uh, blue toned red shade, and we're going to be focusing on the outer corner, the crease, and actually the inner corner. We're going to bring it all the way into the inner corner and kind of create a halo kind of effect. Really make sure this gets really good and blended out. This is just kind of for color. We're going to go in with a deeper color next to intensify the crease. Going in with the same brush and the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place, I'm taking the shade Ada and I'm going to be intensifying the crease, just adding a little bit more depth with this shade. There's a lot of colors used in this palette. You obviously don't have to have the colors that I'm exactly using. Any of the colors that kind of look like any of these will be perfect just to recreate this. With this shade, you do want to be a little bit more precise because we are just trying to kind of intensify our crease area and not just give it a kind of an overall look of the color. The next shade we're going with, in with is Calabar, also from the Masquerade palette, um, and a just a flat brush. This is by um, Mehron, and I'm going to be applying that to the center where we kind of left all of the rest of that red color away from. And then right on top of that, I'm going to be using Casablanca from the Masquerade palette. It's kind of a gold, coppery shade. And I'm just going to flip in between Calabar and Casablanca to create kind of a goldish, reddish tone. Next, I'm going in with the orange shade in the palette, which is Cairo. It has a little bit of gold glitter in it. I'm going to be taking a small crease brush by Luxie um, and blending it all out and together to bring a little bit more depth into the crease. 
and then going in with Bori, which is the hot pink shade in the Masquerade palette, and just bringing a lot more of that warmth and pink shade back into the eye look. And finally, to finish off the lid, we're going in with Warm Taupe to blend everything together nice and seamlessly. And for the lower lash line, I'm going to start with Warm Taupe and then build up the rest of the colors. Um, the only colors I don't put on my lower lash line is uh, Calabar and Casablanca. Prepping my eyes for falsies with Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. I did not film what my lashes were because they were a pain in my butt, so sorry about that. Going in with the Gingerbread Cookie Palette from the one of the Too Faced collections this holiday season and using the bronzer out of there, which is called Gingerbread, very fittingly. It's very warm tone and it's got a little bit of a shimmer in it which I just think is really gorgeous. I decided to just look with no blush today and I'm just gonna go straight to highlight with the Glow Kit, the Gleam one by Anastasia, um, and going in with Mimosa and Hard Candy and highlighting our cheekbones, our nose, and of course the cheek bow. Now I didn't record what lipsticks I used today, um, but I used the Revlon um, Color Burst in 205 and then NYX Creme Brulee butter glass. So yeah, that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of holiday inspired look. Um, make sure you guys check out all my social media links below and like, comment, subscribe, watch my previous video, all that fun stuff. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.